itself would be revolutionary. But when I say every room in everyone's house or flat has a camera recording what's going on, the transformation of the home into a TV studio, a creation of a new kind of reality, a reality that's electronic. And perhaps only in the short term, in, in the same way that you, when you at last get a camera, you spend your time photographing children playing in a paddling pool. But after a while, you get more ambitious, and you start taking interest in the world at large. And I think the same thing will happen, beginning with people endlessly photographing themselves. <laughs> <laughs> Bathing, having dinner together, having domestic rounds. Of course, the bedroom applications are obvious. <laughs> and I think it'll go beyond that to the point where each of us will be at the center of a sort of non-stop serial with all kinds of possibilities let in. Um, then Savage says, they always say that people fantasize about making love with somebody else. Is this just a logical extension of that? And Ballard responds, I can see that coming but I can see a huge extension of video. Live material will be accessible at the press of a button so that as now you can dial a poem or a record of the weather, you'll be able to see a visual input of all the newsreel material filmed yesterday in Los Angeles from a London suburb. The greatest TV show on earth, I can see that happening. One will have access to a vast amount of filmed information of every conceivable kind. One will be able to merge one's own identity with a huge flux of images of various kinds being generated elsewhere. And I think that's just testament to Ballard's genius. <laughs>